Hello, today we are going to learn how to divide any circle into five equal parts. The first thing we are going to do is to draw a vertical diameter which cuts our circumference at two points which we will call A and P as can be seen here in the video. The second step is to draw a horizontal diameter perpendicular to our previous diameter. I do this in the video using the 45 degree set square with an attached protractor, but you at home can work out the perpendicular bisector of the diameter AP or use your 45 degree and 60 degree set squares. Our new horizontal diameter will cut our circumference at two points, which we will call Q and R, as can be seen here. So now, the next step with our, we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the radius OR. And to do this with our compass set on point O and the radius slightly longer than half the radius OR, we scribe an arc above and below the radius. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point R, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. And now we will join these two points and where it cuts the radius OR, this will be the midpoint M of the radius. So now with our compass centered on M and radius MA, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter QR. We will call this new point S. So the length AS will be the length which divides our circumference into five equal parts. So the next step is with our compass, we want to transport this distance onto our circumference five times, starting at point A. So with our compass set on point A and radius AS, we'll scribe an arc on the circumference as can be seen here. And now we will continue this process five times, setting our compass on the previously scribed arc. We'll scribe a second arc, as seen here. And again, setting the compass again, we'll scribe our third arc, our fourth. And if we have been doing everything with precision and accuracy, our final arc should cut exactly on point A. as can be seen here. Okay, so the next step is to name the final four divisions, B, C, D, and E. If we join these points, A, B, C, D, and E, you will get a regular pentagon inscribed in a circle. And joining these five vertices to the center point O, you will get five equal divisions or circular sectors. I hope this video has helped you please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, until the next time.